WNBA superstar Caitlin Clark has made her towering aspirations crystal clear as she boldly declared, I don't want anyone to be better than me. The dynamic 22-year-old guard has had an explosive year, ascending to new heights after being picked by the Indiana Fever in the April draft. She has subsequently seen her celebrity status skyrocket. Though her team was edged out in the playoffs, Clark dazzled on the court, snagging the illustrious WNBA Rookie of the Year accolade and leaving an indelible mark in her very first pro season. Currently, she is embracing a novel challenge by swapping basketball courts for plush golf links at an LPGA event, rubbing shoulders with legends like Annika Sorenstam and the current queen of the green, Nellie Korda. However, before taking to the greens, Clark was on a panel discussing various aspects of her life. She revealed just where gets her motivation to turn in such stellar performances on a regular basis. My biggest motivator? She asked in response to a question. Oh man. I think wanting to be the best. Like, I don't want anyone to be better than me. Challenging the idea that anyone in the WNBA could rival Clark's electrifying presence is becoming increasingly difficult. The Pride of Iowa has already sealed her legendary status in collegiate hoops by smashing records to become the highest scorer in NCAA Division I basketball history, men or women, with a jaw-dropping 3,951 points, reports the Irish star. After securing back-to-back -back National Player of the Year titles, she made her big leap to the major leagues this year. She's well known for winning FIBA Under-19 World Cup gold medals in 2019 and 2021, alongside a triumphant run at the FIBA Americas U16 Championships back in 2017. The bus hasn't died down in her first year with the fever and the stats speak for themselves, 19.2 points on average each game, flanked by 8.4 assists and 5.7 rebounds. She's also carved out a place in history as the fifth rookie ever to earn a spot on the All-WNBA First Team, shattering records with an astonishing 337 assists in the season and stunning 19 in one match alone. Even Wall Street Journal's Jason Gay chimed in this August, comparing Clark's impact on women's hoops to NBA superstar Steph Curry's revolutionary influence. Known for his three-pointer wizardry, Curry's style is echoed in Clark's praised long-range shots and slick passing skills. Clark is far from the first great shooter in women's basketball, Gay said. But she's the one who is changing the dimensionality of the game, because of the distance she can shoot from and how well she can pass. The Clark effect also drove historic levels of viewership on TV during her final seasons at Iowa. Following the conclusion of the fever season she has so far chose not to join up with Chicago Sky's Angel Reese in the unrivaled league during the offseason and instead announced that she was set to recharge. Year 1, thank you to the many people who have supported me as I've been able to live my childhood dream. I'm filled with gratitude as I reflect on this past year of my life. See you all in year 2, Clark said on social media. Clark's financial status is also soaring alongside her fame. According to Marka, her net worth hovers at a cool $4 million, 3.1 million pounds, bolstered by a lucrative four-year contract with Fever valued at $338,000, pounds. A significant portion of her income springs from endorsement deals, including a Nike agreement projected to net her $28 million, 21.6 million pounds, over eight years. Clark's celebrity status is blossoming unexpectedly too. Her social circle now includes hanging out with Kansas City Chiefs Travis Kelsey at Taylor Swift gigs while San Antonio Spurs Victor Wimbanyama has hailed Clark as one of the most impressive talents he's witnessed. Caitlin Clark left Nellie Corda in shock as she tried her hand at golf after a breakthrough WNBA season, almost taking out a fan with a stray shot. While taking a break from basketball and rising in popularity, 22-year-old Clark attended the Annika Pro-Am event, inspired by golfing icon Annika Sorenstam. Playing alongside Sorenstam herself, as well as LPGA Tour Player of the Year Corda, at Florida's Pelican Golf Club, Clark's thoughts of switching careers might be shelved after she was seen on video badly slicing a tee shot into the spectators. With the crowd narrowly avoiding being in the path of a wayward shot, they managed to dodge at the last moment, and a surprise quarter and the rest of the tee box could only watch, reports the Mirror US. Clark handled the situation with a laugh, swiftly readying another ball for a second attempt. Performance, in which she explained, I've tried to practice as much as I can. I'm just the average golfer.
I'm going to hit some good, I'm going to hit some bad. It is what it is. She elaborated, just going to try not to hit anyone standing outside of the ropes. But it'll be fun. I'm excited for it. I think I'm just excited honestly. I'm not a professional golfer, so I think just having fun. Clark later clarified that she wasn't considering a career change to golf, telling the LPGA Women's Leadership Summit, no, I've practiced a little bit and I just have the quote about becoming a professional golfer. Everybody thought I was serious. I was not serious. But she did express her enthusiasm for golf, sharing, I love it. I love being outside and making it competitive with my friends. Clark also reflected on trying various sports as a child, but ultimately knew basketball was her true calling. She explained, when I got into high school, I knew basketball was my future. I loved it, and I wanted to practice it. I think that was different. She added, I wanted to get better. I wanted to spend time working on my game. That was probably what set that apart from all the other sports I played. Clark went on, the other sports, were just fun with my friends. I was really competitive, but I didn't take extra time out of my day to work on my game and be better than everybody else. I think that's what helped me figure out the path I wanted to take. Caitlin Clark's foray into golf almost had disastrous consequences, leaving Nellie Corda stunned. Clark has swapped the court for the course following her WNBA Rookie of the Year season with the Indiana Fever. Having transcended basketball, the 22-year-old is in demand, accepting an invitation to play in the Annika Pro-Am event, named after legendary women's golfer Annika Sorenstam. Clark played with Sorenstam and LPGA Tour Player of the Year quarter as the tournament got underway at Pelican Golf Club Florida. However, any thoughts of a career switch may be on hold after footage emerged of her horribly hooking a tee shot right into the crowd. Clark, meanwhile, took it all in her stride, smiling before casually pulling another ball and tee out of her pocket and having another go. It came after she said, pre-tournament, that she was hoping not to embarrass herself. She said, I've tried to practice as much as I can. I'm just the average golfer. I'm going to hit some good, I'm going to hit some bad. It is what it is. Just going to try not to hit anyone standing outside of the ropes. But it'll be fun. I'm excited for it. I think I'm just excited honestly. I'm not a professional golfer, so I think just having fun. Ahead of the tournament, Clark was moved to clarify that she was not really pondering a career switch to golf. Having joked about such a move, she said at the LPGA Women's Leadership Summit, no, I've practiced a little bit and I just had the quote about becoming a professional golfer. Everybody thought I was serious. I was not serious. WNBA superstar Caitlin Clark humorously responded to a group photo featuring some of her former teammates. The picture was shared by ex-Iowa Hawkeyes player Gabby Marshall on Instagram, showing her with Kate Martin and Jada Jayamfi. Marshall, now retired, met up with Martin and Jayamfi when the Hawkeyes triumphed over Virginia Tech Hokies 71-52. Martin currently plays for Las Vegas Aces while Jayamfi is still with the Hawkeyes. Marshall captioned the photo, biggest fan. So good seeing my Hawkeye family this weekend. Clark, who had a successful stint with the Hawkeyes before joining the WNBA, jokingly commented that she should have been edited into the picture, writing crop me in next time gang. During her time at Iowa, Clark led the team to back-to-back -back Final Four appearances in 2023 and 2024, averaging 28.4 points, 7.1 rebounds, and 8.2 assists per game. She then had an impressive rookie year with Indiana Fever in the WNBA, winning Rookie of the Year and being named an All-Star. The 22-year-old averaged 19.2 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 8.4 assists per game, leading the league in average assists. UConn's head coach Gino Orima recently shared insights into Caitlin Clark's on-court behavior, known for stirring up her opponents. Speaking on the Make a Difference podcast, he said, when people talk about in the WNBA, why are these people beating up Caitlin Clark? It's because she talks a lot of on the court, adding that her confrontational style contributes to her prowess as a player. That's what makes her good. So she's not like this angel walking out there and everybody else is beating her up. No, she's got a lot to say. She's a lot like Paige, Bookers, those guys have a lot to say, they just do it subtly, and they're tough. We need more of that, 
and we need more great games, better games, and some rules modifications. Caitlin Clark just went back home and received some praise and love along the way, while her team is in turmoil as her coach was recently fired. Yesterday, Clark who has been working on her golf game and her former college teammates were honored in Iowa City at the Hawkeyes football game. Clark and her former teammates carried out their Big Ten Championship and NCAA Tournament Regional Championship trophies while the crowd got loud. While some of the girls took out their phones to record the moment, Clark stayed cool, calm and collected as she led the pack to the end zone. Once the girls were lined up, Clark took a quick picture of her view on the field and posted it on her Instagram story. Clark also took the opportunity to flash her championship rings into the camera while smiling. Although, Clark didn't leave the rings on just her hands for the entire game, the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Iowa women's basketball team posted a video of Clark taking off her rings and giving them to a little girl to try on. Clark laughed, and the girl smiled into the camera showing off her fingers. The crowd smiled and took videos of the sweet interaction. She will remember that moment forever, a user on Instagram commented.